The primary activity that occurs in the Eccles Sciences Building is teaching labs. So those are general chemistry and then organic teaching labs. The space that was remodeled is all teaching labs as well as uh, new recitation rooms that go with uh, organic courses and the general chemistry courses. We have somewhere in the neighborhood of 34 to 3,500 students a year that go through these teaching labs. The older facility was built in the early 70s and it really showed it. Everything was honestly just stained and beat up and really kind of falling apart. The flooring uh, is so much different than what we had before. Before it was, as we called it, sealed concrete. It was durable but not very pretty and not very pleasant to walk on. We'll have a lot of activity with pallets and movement of carts and everything else going through those corridors. So having a floor that would actually be able to uphold with all that extra weight and movement and traffic is very important as well. We won't get a chance to remodel again for another 25, maybe 30 years. And so the materials have to hold up. Ultimately, long-term maintainability and durability in a chemistry lab setting was the driving force for the selection of Nora in this project. Along with our building standards, we also insist on some fairly specific types of products. We found that by doing that, we, we can keep a handle on maintenance costs. Our lab director tested the Nora flooring to see how resistant it was to the things that, that we commonly use in the organic lab, and it held up quite well. Our project manager brought me a big square of it and said, pour whatever nasty chemicals you have in the lab on this and let's see if we can stain it and how it stands up to that. And at first I did actually make some stains on it, but they actually polished right out after a few minutes of work. Noise in the lab is an important factor because we have uh, all these fume hoods which, which do create a fair amount of background noise. This product, it really helps with the sound acoustics issues. I think it helps also with um, fatigue. Having that rubber flooring actually gives that added cushion. I think it's much more comfortable for the users when they have long periods of lab use and the chemical resistance obviously is a big plus. We've been starting to move stuff in and one of the things that I liked is um, I accidentally dropped uh, some glass on the floor and it didn't break. <laughs> What I was wanting to have was something where the students really felt like they were walking into a chemistry space. I wanted to include at least a couple of amino acids because those are absolutely crucial for life. And then there were a few others that I thought were pretty fun. Um, caffeine I like because most people like caffeine, I guess. It was exciting. I was really surprised and, I, and it was the product lent itself very well to the water jet cutting process. And, and I was just, uh, it was beautiful, you know. The, you could never do that with old technology and old you know, BCT. You can make it unique to the space that you're trying to create and that it, it is a very good product for ergonomic reasons, for acoustics, for, for all those, for design and everything. This is a modern lab, so the safety and health of all the people who work and, and study in that space is just leaps and bounds beyond what it ever was before. Thank you.